Hello, I'm Michael from Glow Motion Control. If you are a new user setting up a Glow Motion Controller for the first time, then this video is for you. Using Galil Design Kit's step-by-step -step tool, getting motors moving has never been faster or easier. Here in front of me, I have an XY stage with brushless motors that I need to get configured and moving. To drive the motors, I have a DMC 4000 with a built-in sinusoidal amplifier, the D3540. Additionally, I have a 24 volt DC power supply to power my controller and amplifier, an ethernet cable to connect the controller to my PC, and the most recent version of Galil Design Kit installed, free from galil.com. To get motors moving, I first need to be able to talk to the motion controller. The step-by-step -step tool in GDK has a guided walkthrough for this process, so let's get that launched. I need to select my controller from the list in step-by-step, -step, and then follow the prompts for ethernet communication. I am now successfully connected. On the home page, I can see information about my controller, as well as start to get motors, I.O., and other features configured. I do have limit switches on my XY stage, so I will start there. On the left-hand side, there is a readout now open for my limit switches. Let's activate them by hand and confirm they toggle. Everything's looking good, so now let's move on to getting motors set up. The step-by-step -step motor setup tool will assist in automatically getting my motors configured, so let's navigate there. First, I need to plug in my motor and encoder feedback. Then I must indicate the direction I want to be positive by moving the motor shaft by hand. Finally, I sit back and let step-by-step -step analyze the motor and encoder wiring. After this test is performed, the software will automatically make any corrections to the wiring of the motor to ensure correct operation. In the test readout, I can see that step-by-step -step has estimated my brushless modulus as well as verified my hall sensor wiring. With my first motor now configured, let's try and perform a simple move to confirm that the settings are working properly. The terminal example in step-by-step -step will help with this. First, I need to enable my motor, then give it a distance to move. Let's command a move of one revolution, which is 4000 encoder counts for this motor. Excellent. I can see my motor is working, but in order to get the motor responding well, it needs to be tuned. So let's go to the tuning module. Because my motor is not yet coupled to the load, I would just like to run the auto tuner. So that's what I will select. Then I just need to press the run auto tuner button and the motor will be tuned for me. After tuning, I can see that a step response has been displayed. Looks pretty good. Now, with my motor set up and tuned, I should probably stop and save my settings to the PC so that I have a backup of my controller in a known working state. I can use the software to save all of my controller settings for me, and then create a file that contains those settings. Now, with my controller backed up, I'm going to go ahead and get my second motor configured in the same way I configured the first one. With both of my motors now configured, I can go ahead and couple them to my stage and begin developing my application. All of this has been completed in just a few minutes thanks to Galil Design Kit's step-by-step -step tool. If you have any questions about Galil Design Kit, step-by-step, -step, or Galil Motion Control, please reach out to our support team, either by phone or by email.